Welcome back, everybody. I'm Phil, and this is... Hey, guys, I'm Sam. And she cannot get a hold of herself <laughs> because of what is on the screen. She's driving me nuts. I'm trying to get the video started. She just keeps pointing at the screen at this guy in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Tell us, Samantha, what is so funny? They look so funny. They're like little animals. <laughs> she likes little characters, and she likes animals, so this is right up her alley. She's got like a Like this guy in the middle is killing me with his like lion's mane and his little ears. Little tiger looks like yeah, lion. like that guy's like a little bunny in the bottom. Guy. I don't know if that's like a parrot, maybe. Um, what's the guy at the bottom, right? <laughs> he looks like a little bunny. Bunny. Oh yeah, bunny ears. I guess I don't know. I don't about know. That. I don't really know what. Anyway, he is. it looks kind of like a cow to me. But the the middle guy in the bottom right are my favorite. So clearly we were distracted by this, but mostly <laughs> Sam was could not get a hold of herself. Are you, have you gotten about your system yet, or? Yeah, I guess. I think she's going to have trouble paying attention during the reaction now. <laughs> and anyways, we've got Stuck in the Middle with You, which is a song by Steeler's Wheel. And yep. we've arrived at this one because we did uh, Baker Street by Jerry Rafferty. And he was a great intro, or he gave us a great introduction to maybe what we're going to experience in this one. Yeah. Had a sax solo. And, um, yeah, that was, was a, fire. It was a really, really cool sound. Um, and so on the on the heels of that and those comments, you guys were saying, we got to do Stuck in the Middle with you. And I think there was also a little confusion because we had suggested um, in the quiz, the pop quiz question that we gave them, uh, what group was Jerry Rafferty in prior to going solo? And... He was in a, in a group, actually, with um, Billy Connolly, the comedian. Oh. That we have done a video to. Yeah. But we couldn't get it up on the channel because it got blocked. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we'll be able to edit that and maybe get it up. Anyways, hopefully we can do that. But it's kind of a weird... Um, you know, grouping of him yeah. and a comedian. Yeah, it's so, kind of random. Anyways, people were saying, in the answer, they were saying Steeler's Wheel. Ah. Uh. And... Then they were also suggesting stuck in the middle with you. So that's how we've arrived here. And uh, we have another question for them. Yes. So we want to know what Quentin Tarantino movie, famous movie, was this song featured in? That's right. Yes. You guys probably know this one. I, I think you might because uh, it doesn't seem like it's too difficult if you're a fan of Steelers Wheel, if you know this song, um, you know the timeline, it probably is going to be pretty relevant. Um, but anyways, if you don't know, don't worry, because Sam is going to have all the answers for you at yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, stick with me, and I'll tell you at the end. That's right. And just what we're going to add is make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. All that good stuff. We appreciate it. It makes the channel what it is today. So thank you for all your support, guys. We really do appreciate it. Anyways, stuck in the middle with you. Are you ready to find out what else they're going to put together with these characters that they have? <laughs> yes. I assume it. this must be the album cover. Yeah. Right? I like it, though. It's very creative. Of course you do. <laughs> with that said, let's go. <laughs>
Do you know this song? It sounds very familiar. Like I definitely have heard it, but I've never like actually like soaked it in and paid attention to it. Yeah, it does. It, it does sound familiar to me. Um, like I've heard it somewhere. Yeah. Um, but not like. It's interesting the way they put this together because the melody is very similar to the chorus. Mm -hmm. The way he's singing the melody throughout the verse was really similar to the chorus. So when he came in with the with the verse, I was like, hmm, this sounds kind of familiar. Yeah. But then when he was singing, I was like, I didn't recognize any of the words or yeah. anything. And then he got into the chorus. I was like, oh, this stuck in the middle with you thing. This sounds really familiar. Yeah. And But it was cool because, like I said, he's kind of made it sound familiar through the verse portion, right? And the bass is just so cool on this. The bass riff is awesome. Um, just really, really sticks out. It's it's obviously driving the great groove that they mm -hmm. have with the song. And um, it's like, you know, offsetting his his vocal on the higher end of the range, right? And you got this, you know, driving bass that's mm -hmm. like booming. And so it's really cool the way they put together. And they got the hand clap in there as yeah, well. Yeah, I love to, that. You know, keep like a, a metronome. So I, I really love it. This one's got a great groove to it. Yeah, it has like a, kind of like a funky groove to it too, yeah. I feel like, which I like. But yeah, no, I definitely recognize the course. It's a little bit, like you said, like that stuck in the middle with you. I think it's definitely from hearing it in movies. Might even be the movie that we're going to tell you guys at the end because I've seen that. I don't, you haven't though, have you? I don't think so, no. True. So, I mean, I don't know if that's... That word. sounds familiar, but, you know, it might have been one of those ones I was watching. Like, I, when, do you, when did it come out? Do you know? I don't remember. I watched it probably in, like, the early 2000s. Okay. So, there's another hint if you... If you <laughs> um, that's when I watched it. I don't know if that's when it came oh, out. I true. was in high school when true. I watched okay. it, so... Um, so, anyways, it could have been one of those ones where, you know, you're with a group of friends and yeah, you're fair. watching the movie and, you know, you don't really remember it because you're all distracted or yeah, something yeah. like that. Anyways. Um, but I you love were, it. You, you were saying that you may know it from that and you really, really enjoy the song. Yeah. I'm, like, grooving out if you guys didn't notice. It's a great vibe. Yeah. It's a I like his vibe. vocal too. Like his vocals, like unique in this. It's yeah. it's very like like the whole song to me just sounds kind of like funky. Clowns on the left and Joker's Joker on the right. right. I'm just stuck in the middle with, with you. you. <laughs> That's a great line. Yeah. Um, you know, just saying like I'm stuck here and I don't really want to be here, but I got nowhere else better to be. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a pretty great line that the way they transition right into the chorus from that. I mean, it's kind of the precursor to the chorus, but yes. it's really great how they transition with it. Anyways, I think we've been chit chat. Songs as fun as the album cover, so it's living up to the expectation. There you go. <laughs> Try to make some sense of it all, but I can see. That was a banger. You really like that one, eh? Yep. Album art, song, 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 right off the bat. Yep. We don't even need to discuss anymore because Sam was just giving it the ultimate 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed it too. It, it was a um, very smooth song. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it it's got fun. a 
it's got a f- like little funky feel to it, but it's really smooth mm-hmm. that aligned with the, the vocal and um, the tra- I mentioned the transitions. I just love how they oh. go in and out of each section of this one. It's great. It doesn't kill the vibe at all. It actually really adds to the vibe. Mm-hmm. You know, they've used the transitions in that regard really, really well. Yeah, for sure. There's like some stop start kind of stuff in there, but it's not like like it doesn't like throw you off the groove at yeah. all. Like. Yeah. So I don't know if this would have been like a dance track vibe for you guys growing up. Maybe you can let us know yeah. what the feeling was. Is this one that you just kind of with cruising along, you know, came on the radio, you're like, Oh, this is the vibe, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, and, and, uh, just zoning out. Cause it was to me, you know, very, um, a lighthearted feeling song. Yeah. It was, you know, not, not really supposed to be too meaningful with the lyrics in any way. It was just kind of having a little bit of fun. And yeah. I think they captured that with the song really well too yeah for sure <laughs> that's it 10 out of 10 i said my piece <laughs> i just keep looking at this line guy <laughs> what did i tell you guys in the beginning <laughs> yeah i'm like so easily so distracted but yeah no i loved it like like i said i thought that the vibe was really good i really like his vocal like it sounds very unique to me i don't know how to like describe it but it's it's not something that sounds like oh my god it's like the most standout vocal in the entire world from talent but i just feel like it sits like the sound of it sits in with the song vibe and the instrumentation mm-hmm. so well it kind of like i said that like funky yeah. but um, you know, playful kind of vibe to the song. I think, you know, in line with that, it reminds me some of the 60s vocals that we had heard. And um, I think they're from, they're a British band, um, Steeler's Wheel, right? And I think this song is early 1970s, right? So I think maybe we're hearing some of that transition, you know, um, replicating some of that 60s sound that now we've like heard from, you know, the Animals or the Beatles or whatever, yeah. right? And, you know, but adding that like little funky flavor to it. So that's yes. kind of the vocal that I hear, yeah. but it's a very different sound that they put together yeah. with it. So it's like a, you know, funk, jazz, rock kind of mix together. Yeah. So anyways, I really enjoyed it. Before we go, what do we have to do? Give them the answer to the pop quiz question, which is what Quentin Tarantino movie was the song featured in? And the answer is Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs. Yeah. So if you knew that, congratulations. You get a giant thumbs up from us. And now you can get a giant thumbs up <laughs> On that screen there. So you can help us with our algorithm. Yes. <laughs> and um, if you want to leave a comment, let us know anything about Steelers Wheel, any other songs that you would like us to check out. I really yeah. did enjoy this. Clearly, <laughs> Sam did as well. Yes. So uh, I might, we might have to come back to this album here just for the sake mm-hmm. of Sam's reaction to the album cover. <laughs> and uh, other than that, you guys should um, just hit that subscription button, notification bell if you want to come along with this journey. Come alongside us for this journey that we're on is what I'm trying to say. And we would love to have you because this community has grown tremendously over the past yes year. it has and we are always here for the more the merrier so. that's right so you're welcome if you don't want to and you want to move on to the next video adios we'll see you later <laughs> thanks for watching guys see you next time